After being downgraded by an international agency, the IITs are now waking up to the idea of opening their doors to more international scrutiny. But this endorsement apparently comes with a price tag. So the big question is whether it's worth paying lakhs of dollars to measure up to global standards. As India's premier institutions, the IITs failed to make it to the global top 200 institutions. IIT Kanpur rejected the ranking. We have been uh, ignoring to an extent. We never bothered to uh, pay much attention to them. And in the process, what has happened is they have picked up data which are outdated. Many of our websites are not current. And they have used their own, own uh, yardsticks and own evaluation process, which are, in my opinion, not at all correct. In a list dominated by the likes of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and the Harvard, the IITs failed to figure in the top 200. IIT Kanpur ranks a poor 295 in the QS World University rankings. IIT Delhi at 222, IIT Bombay at 233, IIT Madras at 313 and IIT Kharagpur at 346. Alarmed by the downgrade, the IITs have decided to step up efforts to be recognized internationally. But it comes at a cost. IIT Kanpur director claimed a rating agency demanded one and a half lakh US dollars to be even considered for such evaluation. Do the IITs really need such a global fame? Students living their IIT dream feel an international certificate is not required. The money could be used productively somewhere else also, but apart from that, the question is, do you really need to have so much money being involved in generating a ranking of universities? If we think of foreign universities, they market themselves really well. If you want to focus, like, we want to attract more people who doesn't know our name, so I think that will be necessary in those conditions only. IITs and IIMs already top domestic education surveys, but with institutions seeking international recognition, are thousands of dollars a small price to pay for global brand identities? With camera person Rajesh Gupta and Arun Agarwal in Kanpur, this is Anand Zanane for NDTV.